Hello guys, Zanjay here and in this video I am going to show you how to root your Redmi 2 or Redmi 2 Prime and guys I am showing you this method because this method will always work like if you are on MIUI 6, MIUI 7 or 4.4.4 Lollipop but even if you have upgraded MIUI this method will always work so you can follow this method regardless of your Android version or MIUI version. Uh, this method will work on both the devices. Just make sure that you download CWM recovery according to your device. Like if you have Redmi 2, the 1GB variant, then download the CWM recovery of 1GB variant or the TWRP recovery. Obviously, you can download any recovery between CWM or TWRP. And if you have Redmi 2 Prime, then download the recovery according to Redmi 2 Prime. And both will be linked in the description below. So you can download easily according to your device. And after you download the recovery file, it will be in zip format. So simply extract the zip file and it will be like this and you will need two things right now is uh, first thing is recovery i am going to use twrp recovery over here and second thing is update super su zip uh, this is basically a super su zip so copy this zip file into internal storage you can copy that into external storage too it won't give you any type of issues so after this you need to make sure that you have adb drivers installed and if you want to check if your pc has adb drivers or not simply hold shift button on keyboard and then press right click on the mouse at the same time and you will get something as open command window here and as you can see we have connected our device with the USB cable and now write ADB devices and for me it is giving an output uh, with some random name if your PC doesn't give this type of output then do not worry I'll give some links in the description box below simply download those files install the files reboot your PC and ADB driver should be installed on your device and you can reboot into fastboot mode by using two methods First method is that simply switch off your device and after the device is switched off press volume down key and the power button together so that the device will boot into fast boot mode but as we have connected our device using USB cable and we are connected to PC or you can simply write ADB reboot bootloader. So as you can see by writing that command also the phone will reboot into fast boot mode. So as we have uh, rebooted into fast boot mode and now we are going to boot into the TWRP recovery temporarily we are not going to flash the recovery permanently so to boot into recovery mode simply write fast boot fast boot boot and simply copy this file name and paste it over here and do not forget to write dot img after that so that the file will be flashed correctly and as you can see it has completed now our phone will boot into TWRP recovery as you can see the phone has already booted into TWRP recovery so as you can see we have successfully booted into the TWRP recovery now we need to install the super SU zip so for that go into install and if you have put the zip file in your SD card then select storage over here and you can select different storage you can even select USB OTG from here so for me it is in internal storage so I'll just scroll down and this is the package over here so select the package and just swipe to install and now this will install the super su zip and after this select reboot system and by this method we are not replacing uh, the stock recovery or uh, it won't harm your ot updates in any way but if you want to flash twrp recovery permanently so that you can flash roms and uh, different things like that in future then you have to write this command so that the recovery will be flashed permanently so as you can see we have rebooted into the phone successfully so let me just reduce the brightness so we have downloaded the root checker application just now so let's select that and let's select let's see if our device is rooted so as you can see it is asking for super su permission so grant it and it will say congratulations root access is properly installed on this device so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more such videos and if you have any doubts suggestions queries regarding this video then do let me know about that in the comment section below too i'll surely try to answer your queries so thank you guys thank you for watching